Yo, 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 guys, the Seattle Gamer is back, I know, with a real commentary. I'm not dead. And before we get this video started, I want you guys to see this awesome blind fire kill. Look how far away that PZSFL is on the map, all the way across the map. I'm just looking at him on the map. Bam! His entire health pool is dead at the very beginning of the match. That tier 6 tank destroyer is no more, because I am awesome, yes. And here we go. We got the super speed going on. Yeah, I got to get myself in two positions. So I have to speed up this wonderful video. The KV-2 is not the quickest tank for any of you guys that have ever played World of Tanks. It is pretty slow for a heavy, you know, but it makes up for it in the awesome, awesome 152 millimeter cannon that it, that it packs. And here I am screwing up in the beginning of the match and I didn't push up into my normal position. So we just gave the entire enemy the most advantageous spot in the game you know we gave up the entire valley because I was an idiot I am playing against tier sevens you know it's quite a few tier sevens actually on each team as you guys can see from the from the team list on each side so I'm kinda outgunned here but the thing about the KV2 it's never actually outgunned people may think so but even against tier 8 tanks when it sees them the KV2 is always gonna do some massive damage and that poor poor ARL you know, it may only done 230 damage from that HE shell that just hit him, but I probably killed half his crew inside that tank, plus the track is blown off all in one shot. So, you know, that's why you gotta love the KV-2. And for anyone that's been wondering, you know, I know I've kind of been, like, missing in action MIA on YouTube, and that has to do a lot with me getting the gaming PC, like what I'm playing on now, you know, doing this. And, ooh, 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 ooh hold on, hold on, can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? It's going to be, bam, hook the HE shell over the rock and hit him on the very top of his tank. Only did 230 damage there because most of the HE shell's explosion actually hit the open air since I just barely nicked the top of his tank. You know, but I will take what I can get because I probably killed something inside his tank as well with that hit since I do, since I am firing the HE shells. But, like I was saying, no, I had my gaming PC, or I have my gaming PC, so I have not really been doing a lot of YouTube. And basically what that is, is because of my recording software. I don't really, I'm not used to recording on PCs, you know, so it took me a long time. Even now, you know, I'm using Shadowplay, but, you know, even using Fraps and everything, I'd record a lot. And I was like, man, these files are so huge. And I had to get a new internal HDD, basically. I got like a, a one terabyte, no, it's a two terabyte, you know, internal hard drive. You know, just so I could record to it with Shadowplay and Fraps, because Fraps, man, their recordings are so huge. You know, I was like, it, it was just ridiculous. You know, I was like, I'm so used to my HD PVR, you know, with it like 600, you know, megabyte videos, you know, for like one gameplay of Call of Duty. But, uh, what have you, man, what have you. And when I got on here, I still do not actually have a gaming mouse, so I really don't prefer to play shooting games. It's very hard, you know, like, I'm not used to like having to play on the keyboard, so I really suck at shooting games. Like I, I can move around just fine, and I can shoot people just fine, and I can even hit R, you know, the R key to reload and everything just fine. But it's all the other keys, and I'm not used to having to hit like my number keys on the fly. I'm not used to having to hit Q on the fly. I know that's so such a simple task, and like I type very very fast, and bam, goodbye ARL, give me that kill. You know, but like when I hit R and E and F and everything on my keyboard, that's very, very quick. But hitting the Q button, you know, above the A button, you know, like even when I type, you know, I type very fast, I can hit the Q just fine. But when I'm in the middle of a game, for some reason, that damn Q button screws me up. And a lot of shooting games, I have to use Q for dumb shit. And like either my crouch button or hitting C and you know, all this, it, it, it's just weird, you know. So I, I should probably invest myself in a gaming mouse, you know, just so I can hotkey, you know, some of those more annoying keys in my opinion to me personally you know to those hot too I took a hit from that from that wonderful Churchill and ah, man you know so I really haven't it, it's kind of weird because I haven't even played Call of Duty Ghost yet you know my entire channel is I basically Call of Duty and I still have not even played Call of Duty Ghost I haven't even bought it you know I haven't even played my consoles since I got my PC it's been like I don't know six or seven months I don't remember how long ago I actually got my PC now but it's been a long time and I still have not even touched my console. I don't, I don't even got Xbox Live Gold anymore. So, you know, when I when it comes to actually like gaming right now on the PC, I am basically just playing World of Tanks as my main PvP style game. Uh, it's a pretty annoying game. I won't lie. Like, when it comes to Call of Duty, like when you have bad players on your team, you can still carry and win. On this game, oh no no no. 
You know, when you get those potato players, man, those those red tomatoes over there, as you guys can see on my XVM ratings, like the red and orange players, man, it is very, very hard to carry them. Like this game really does require teamwork and map knowledge. It's like if you throw if you're on Call of Duty and you're like one of the better players and you have to carry like 15 bat, like 14. Ooh, -hoo, it just took a hard ass hit. 422 damage. Damn. But it's like if you're on Call of Duty and you had to literally carry like 13, like 10 to 13 baddies on your team, you know, compared to just the normal six, you know, or five, what have you. I forgot even how many players. I think there's like six or seven in Call of Duty. But, and that's just the way this game is, you know. So, like, right now I have like a 55% win ratio, and I do play solo most of the time. So, you know, I'm pretty proud of that, considering that I think the average on the servers are only like 47%. So, me being at 55 playing alone, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. And before this match ends, which is almost over, I'm about to just absolutely obliterate this fool. Fuck you, Tank Destroyer. Good day, sir. Come again. KV2 carrying the tier 7s on my team. Yep, yep, yep. That's the way it works. But, like I said, you know, I'm going to come back. I'm going to start making more and more commentaries. They'll probably mostly be for World of Tanks, but maybe for other games too. And as you guys can see, it is a Master Badge with the high caliber medal for doing 20% of all the enemy's hit points and damage. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And look at all those modules I destroyed. It's pretty ridiculous. That's why I love the KV-2 and its HE shells. It's just like one of the most fun tanks in the game. But, you know, that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to come back with more videos. And I love you, man. I missed you all. Oh, yeah.